Okay, we got the walk around video of the 1946 Stella Hay. We're at the Amelia Island Concours display here at the lawn. So this is the day before the event and we'll go in detail and point out any noticeable blemishes and we'll start the car and look at the interior as well so we'll start from the front left fender just along the ridge we don't notice any major imperfections fender There's a chip that we never this right. There, in the inner of the front fender. And we've had some rain today, so I'm trying to make sure that I don't confuse the water drops here, but that's definitely a paint blemish there. You can see it on the reflection. The rest of it looks in good shape. There is some chips and blemishes there where the hood fits the front cowl. It's got the different blue stripe in between the panels. Headlights in good shape. We do have some blemishes down at the bottom end of the grill, body lines, blemishes along the grill and the paint there. Here we notice a dent as well. Small surface scratch there. to the right fender. There is chip there. There is some blemishes there on the ridge line here as well. Again, where the hood fits into the body, there are some chips. We'll open the hood here it started again it's we got it's been sprinkling all day so we've been trying to choose the best time to do this video but uh, the weather is certainly not helping moving on to the door we don't see any major or noticeable dents this will be the driver's sword in the right hand side chip there and a couple of chips there on the running board. The signals properly work. As you guys can see on the photos, the glass is in good shape on the right hand side. Windshield chrome and weather stripping in good shape. As we noted on the drive along, the windshield wipers do not properly work. No blemishes that are noticeable in the roof line and the sunroof. Moving on to the rear quarter. There is some scratches here on the inner lip. chip here okay rear bumper has some damage there in the center we're back here we'll look at the inside 
trunk. So it does get a little wet there. Again, it's been raining. I don't think this car has seen much rain at all, but unfortunately the weather here in Amelia Island is not cooperating. Lenses are in good shape. Moving on to the rear fender. Just a pine straw. There is a chip there. Small dent. There, make sure it zooms in. Chip there as well. The door on the left side does not show any dents or major blemishes. This is a chip. And glass on this side and rear is in good shape. We do have a crack on the quarter glass of the left side. So that's exterior. Moving on to the interior. Let me change the angle to the wider angle. Upholstery is very presentable steel, the wood very nice. We are missing the left door window crank. Wood very presentable as well on this side. So all the handles on this side are proper. You got your sunroof that properly operates manually. Safari style windshield. Um, and then the starting procedures, again, the, the wood in really nice presentable shape still. There is a uh, battery sort of shut off switch in the back of the dash here in the center. Make sure we're in neutral there on our front and rear gear selection. We turn this on and make sure we're in neutral in our steering column selection. And here is our starting button. A couple of pumps. Car starts right up. Engine does sound very healthy. There are no signs of concerns or noises. We go back to the regular angle. there along with this. I always thought that she had some kind of leather trim there but that's the way it was. All the wiring really nice shape. The condition of the motor really nice shape. So we'll upload this video and uh, send us any messages there's any further questions or comments and then we'll uh, be here to explain it more Saturday and Sunday at the Amelia Concord. We should show the engine on this side as well with, it, with its serial tags and just 
to also show how clean and tidy the restoration has held up over the years.